hello guys in this video i am going to show you how you can build your own large language model at home using commodity hardware whether it is cpu or any gpu the inspiration for this video and this model has been taken from this awesome guy lesek milenikov who has done a fabulous job on creating this repo i have just forked it made some cosmetic changes and then i will be showing you how you can do it locally and i will also walk you through the code first let's get it out of the way let me show you what exactly i'm going to do to build and run this pocket all llm and then we will generate the output of it and then i will walk you through the code first up in this one we are going to build a very small llm or large language model which is going to predict some city names i will provide it a data set of city names of around 10000 city names some of them fictitious some of them real and then we will train this pocket llm on top of that data set and from there we will do the inference or in other words we will ask this llm to generate 10 new city names so that is what we are going to do first step let's go to this github repo and i'll drop the link in video description from there click on this green button grab this url and for this i'll be using my local system which is running ubuntu 22.04 let me quickly show you so this is what i'm using let me clear my screen first tap to git clone and then this github repo clone it locally that's done now let's go to this pocket llm let me clear my screen ls ltr it has downloaded all the files files of interest are just this names.txt which contains all the city names and this is a python code which includes everything we need to create the llm train it and do the inference first let me run it to show you what i mean and before i run it actually let me quickly show you how the data set looks like on my github repo i am in this names.txt so what I have done it simple txt file which contains all the city names some of them real some of them just made up and I just use chat gpt to create this text file containing 10,000 unique city names okay now we will train our pocket LLM on top of it and then we will ask it to gen generate 10 new city names okay let's go back to our ubuntu system and I am going to run this name gen.py before that uh, make sure that you have pytorch installed that is the only requirement i already have it so let me show you pip show torch let's wait to see yep that is already there if you don't have it just do pip install torch and it is going to install it on your local system cool let me clear my screen now let's run that name gen.py okay so i have python as python 3 so let me run it like this now it is running as you can see the training has been started there you go so these are the 10 city name it has come up with like silverwood some crystal fall silverwood dev vp and then you can see all of them are unique some of them don't make sense at all but anyway so you can see that this model was able to do the training on the data set and then it was able to do the inference now for the real magic and again huge hats off to lexic classic who has done it let me walk you through the code so let me open this name gen.py let me go there to the browser and show you in the github repo that will be easier okay so this is everything which we not need to do in this file which is simply 100 lines of code to create a pocket llm now what this program is doing it is using markov chain model which is a probabilistic model used in natural language processing to predict the next word in a text sequence based solely on the current word or the few preceding words depending on the order of the model it operates under the assumption that the likelihood of each word appearing next in a sequence can be determined by the state of the current word without needing to consider the entire sequence history 
This model maps out possible words as states in a chain and assigns probabilities to transition between these states, allowing for the generation of text that statistically mirrors the patterns and structure found in training data. Okay, now you know what is Markov chain language model is. If you haven't even understood, that is fine. Don't worry about it. Let's see what this code is doing. We are just importing uh, PyTorch here, as you can see on your screen. Then we are defining a class. This is just a constructor where we are initializing it. The main magic happens here where we are defining this train function. Now, what this train function is doing, this is opening our cityname.txt file, which we are passing it through. Then it is initializing and sorting it. Now, what this function is primarily in very simple word is doing, this is um, simply loading a data set of names from a file name, this names.txt, then it processes the data, tokenizes the data by splitting it using each new line as separator, then it creates and trains character level RNN model using PyTorch and stores it in the self dot four grams variable. So let me show you. So first the file has been done, then it is going to this, uh, just initializing it calculating the vocabulary length that is also done then it is creating character to index mapping or the key value pairs it is just putting a delimiter or sentinel at the end dot to make sure that the word has ended and then it is just printing its stuff and here it is doing the index to character mapping the reverse which we did earlier and this is where it is defining this self dot four gram variable which i was talking about so this self dot for um, variable holds the character level RNN model using PyTorch. So model mean it is just stores some of the so-called weights here. And when we say RNN model, RNN model basically is a recurrent neural network. It is a type of neural network in machine learning that processes sequence of data, remembering previous inputs by looping the output back to itself. And this makes it ideal for tasks involving sequential data like language translation or speech recognition. Okay, now that is out of the way. Then after storing it in four grams, which are the four symbols, here the training starts. So it just simply goes through the file and then it reads all the stuff. It populates that four grams tensor with frequencies and tensor means it is just a four dimensional array or vector which stores the values. Training finishes. And then we have this generate names function, which is used for inference. It takes number of names as argument and generates a number of new sequences of characters using the trained model. And during generation, it is simply going through that, appending it, and then printing out the response. This is how simple this is. And during generation, it is using int to char to convert indices back to character and generates letter for the name. So this is pretty much there is to it. Now the thing is that this is just a single file implementation of character level language model. And as you have already seen the code trains the model based on a Markov chain on a data set of city names to generate new sequences of characters that resembles other city names. And then model sort of learns sequences based on four characters and as a result learns to generate pretty good city names as you already have seen. It's not advanced, it's not really anything nearer to actual models because there is a slot uh, that goes in there. But this is just sort of a hello world in the world of language model. So really cool project by this guy. Uh, let me show you his photo again. So I really had soft to him. Because uh, this project is made to showcase the most minimal implementation of generative uh, language model for educational purposes. So if you're just starting out, you want to build your own model, you're not a good programmer or you haven't been into the data science or machine learning, but you still want to build your own model for just the sake of it. Just fork this repo, replace it with your own data set, maybe make some cosmetic changes to the code as you like. And from there, you can simply build your own model. That's how simple it is. That's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or thoughts, let me know in the comments. I'll be very happy to answer. 
and if you know of any other project or any such rep or any um, other method to build the llm that easily that cheaply for free let me know and i'll be happy to review it too and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed do me a favor and share it among your network as that helps a lot thanks for watching